From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Anglo-American Platinum launched its newly commissioned chrome recovery plant earlier in January at the Lapopo complex. Dylan Slater tells us more. The 474 million rand chrome plant was commissioned in mid-2016, having entered formal operation in September that same year. It will produce two grades of concentrated chromite, including a metallurgical grade and a chemical grade. The plant uses a network of 300 spirals which exploit the force of gravity to extract chromites from ore mined at the Tumela and Dishaba mines, both within the Amandabot complex. This uh, plant is taking its slurry from a concentrated plant through which we extract PGMs. The slurry is pumped into the plant and via spiral configuration, chromite is separated from the waste material. Before it gets to the plant, the chrome and the silicate streams are split chrome-bearing slurry is reported to the plant and through various spiral initiatives the chromite is separated, collected, formalized, concentrated and then it's pumped to the stockpiles. Although chromite has always existed in the upper group 2 reef mined at the Mandelbelt complex, the extraction of the material using the new recovery plants will further add value to Amplat's existing basket of platinum group metals. As far as uh, the Mandelbelt complex means, it is a further level in the extraction of value. So the chrome plant here is a new addition, but the operation has been in existence for quite some time. So as the consideration of the value streams and contributors to the whole operation, and items in terms of uh, extracting full value of the basket of ores that we've been provided of which chrome stream in the UG2 seam that we're mining here is an element. So the plant here says we're moving along the chain in terms of extracting value and this is another addition in terms of that fold for our Mandelbalt as a whole. The plant is designed to process about 700,000 tonnes a year. However, going forward and into the foreseeable future, Amplat's project's general manager Etienne Espach told Mining Weekly that the plant will operate at between 600,000 and 650,000 tons a year. Espach explains the timeline of construction of the plant. From an R&D perspective, extraction of chromite has been around for a significant period of time. Uh, Anglo Platinum launched a feasibility study into this initiative in 2013, which was concluded in the latter part of 2013. The project was formally approved in 2014 and construction commenced around about uh, April of May of 2014 and the plant was commissioned and uh, formalized commissioning that happened in August of 2016. So basically about a two, just over two year process of uh, construction. Uh, formal operation commenced in September of uh, 2016 and uh, the plant hits its performance capacity in the fourth quarter of uh, 2016. So the ramp up process was quite quick. Other news making headlines this week. So the Africa remains on junk knife edge as ANC succession takes center stage and new black-owned compressed air company is launched. South Africa will remain on a downgrade knife edge in 2017, Standard Bank Chief Economist Ghulam Balim warns, despite the bank's view that the country's growth will recover to 1.4% from only 0.4% last year. About the fiscal balance, the demands have swelled, but we cling to the notion that the finance minister will remain focused on delivering and narrowing the fiscal balance and steadying the debt to GDP over the next two years. And how is he going to do that? So firstly, from a maximizing tax take, additional tax take, and minimizing growth, he is going to focus on the personal income tax lever disproportionately and on high income earners disproportionately as well relative to mid and low quantiles. The South African compressed air industry recently celebrated the launch of its first 100% black-owned company, Enza Air, a division of industrial holdings company Asani Group. This is a very important day for us as Enza Air team uh, and this signals now the birth of a new player in the compressed air industry. There's a gap for a black-owned company that is professional, that is prepared to take the market on. Obviously, we're targeting all the, the, the major segments, uh, talking about mining, talking about manufacturing, um, uh, state-owned entities, parastatals, um, construction. Um, those, those will be very big for us uh, in terms of positioning uh, NZA. And we already, I mean, company has been in, in operation for, for uh, literally, say, a few months, and we already have customers in those segments. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.